All right, welcome to a Yellowfin video. In this video, we're going to be discussing how to install Yellowfin on uh, any server other than a Windows server. So basically using the command line. Anytime you want to install Yellowfin on, say, Linux or or maybe a Mac, something like that, um, you're going to have to do it via the command line, and that's not an issue. It's actually very fast, um, and I prefer doing it this way. So first, we're going to have the Yellowfin sales email that comes through. So when you get your demo license or you get your actual um, license for Yellowfin and you want to install it, this is what you're going to see. So number one, it says grab your license file, which is attached, and save it somewhere that you can access or that the machine can access um, that you're installing Yellowfin onto. The second thing we want to do here is browse to the latest build page, and we'll do that in just a second. That's where you're going to download Yellowfin. Yellowfin doesn't come in this email. You need to actually go out to our website, download it, and that's what's going to be used to install Yellowfin. And finally, number three, you can check out the Getting Started page, and this is going to contain documentation on installing, logging in, um, and, and even some broader topics, so just browsing Yellowfin in general. And then we also have some more resources down here. Please go check those out. Um, great, great resources. They're going to answer probably 80% of the questions that you have. We hope to answer more than that, but... Um, we do have some great documentation, so please check that out. And always, if you get stuck, please don't uh, hesitate to reach out to your salesperson or to support. So we'll go ahead and browse to this website here. And it takes us to the latest builds of Yellowfin. So a couple items you need to make sure you have. A, the Yellowfin license, we talked about that. And B, the uh, you need a JRE of 1.5 or higher. You technically need 1.6 if you're downloading and installing 7.3 or higher, but for the older versions, you need 1.5 or higher. So just ensure that you do have a JRE installed and check the version before you install Yellowfin um, because things might not function right if you don't have the right uh, version installed. So we'll scroll on down to the full installer. As you can see, we have update installers here too, but we want to choose the cross-platform installer. This is going to be using the command line. Click download now and save that file. Once that file is downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and browse right here to my command line here. So I'm installing Yellowfin on a Linux Ubuntu server here, and this is remote for us. Um, but I'm going to show you how easy it is here. So the first thing we need to do, I have my file here on the left-hand side. This is my full install, and here's my license file. So the first thing we need to do is browse to the directory of the full install file, the .jar file, and then we're going to run it. So I'm already in the directory, so we'll go ahead and run that file. java-jar, the name of the file. And I put dot .cmd, or excuse me, dash .cmd at the end. That way I'm forcing the command line. So I am running a Windows computer right now, and I'm using this um, tool here to access my server. Um, so if I don't put cmd dash .cmd at the end, it's going to pop up the Windows installer, and I don't want that. Let's go ahead and click Enter, or hit Enter, rather. And we have started the installer. So first things first, we'll enter the installation directory. Mine's going to live in home. Yellow fin. And let's create a folder, let's say 735. Hit enter. And now enter the location of the license file. So again, I'm already at the location, so I can actually just type the name of the license file. However, just for purposes here, we'll say home, yellow fin, and it is called license dot lice. There we go. Now the enter the port for the web server. So where you're going to browse to when you want to log into Yellowfin, um, just don't use a port that your server is already using. 8080 is kind of the default, but um, you know I kind of like to follow along the lines of the release. So this is 7.35. I already have a folder for 7.31. So let's do 7.35. So let's do 70. Oh, uh, 
We'll say 74. Or actually, I already have one running on 74, so let's do 75 here. This is arbitrary. Again, just make sure it's not a port that's restricted or a port that's already um, that already has an application listening on, on that port. Go ahead and hit Enter. And now we're going to choose the database that Yellowfin will be installed into here. So we have a choice of 13 different databases here. You can choose any one of these. Um, HSQLDB, number four on the list, that one comes with our installer. So you're going to have HSQLDB when you download Yellowfin. The reason we provide that is because we have test data that we provide along with uh, your, your purchase of Yellowfin or your, your demo of Yellowfin. And it's going to be ski team data. And we need to store that somewhere. So we provide an HSQLDB and we put the information inside of there. So that way you can play around with Yellowfin if you don't want to connect to your data when you're in the demo. Um, you can certainly use our test data. Do want to note, however, um, HSQLDB is not for production. Do not use HSQLDB as your Yellowfin configuration database for production. Um, it's slow. It's clunky. We just provide it because it's an easy way to provide some of that ski team data for, for you to go out and, and test out Yellowfin. Um, however, for production purposes, do not use HSQLDB. So in this, um, I could use HSQLDB to proceed. However, I'll choose one um, where we actually have to enter some credentials and whatnot. So let's choose MySQL. I already have an installation of that on this server. Put the host name and the server port. Um, I just use the default port on MySQL. So I don't even need to enter the port here. Um, I think if I was, it might be 3306 possibly, but I'll go ahead and hit enter. Do we want to create a new database? Um, so this is going to be, you know, where do you, what database do you want your Yellowfin configura configuration database to be installed in or for the tables to be created in? So I'll say, yes, I want it. I want a new database and I'll call it, I don't know, Yellowfin config db uh, 735. There we go. That's a long one, but it'll do. So then do we want to create an existing user for, or do we want to create a new user for this database, or do we want to use an existing user? Um, I'm just going to go ahead and use a user that already exists in my database. So I'll say no, and then I'll enter that username and password info. And now I need to actually enter the DBA username and password. I need somebody with administrator credentials to install, to create tables and create databases and create users inside um, this database server. And now do we want to install the tutorial content? Uh, tutorial content is going to be all that ski team data. For the sake of um, doing this faster, I'm going to say no. Audit content, so this is going to tell you, um, you know, who's using your, your reports the most, what reports are being used the most, what, how slow reports are, et cetera. It's going to help you diagnose issues and also get a feel for usage. Um, you can always say no to this and then download it later, which I'll say no to, and download it later from the Yellowfin Marketplace. And then do I want to install the World Countries Geopack? Again, I'll say no. And the U.S. Zip Code Geopack, I'm going to say no. However, you may wish to install those. So at this point, it's going to go ahead and run through the different steps of installing Yellowfin. We'll let this run here. And it's actually running quite fast here. So we should be done with this install very soon. And we'll go ahead and check out what it tells us to do next. All right, Yellowfin has finished installing here. So let's read what we got. So Yellowfin 7.35 is now installed. To start the Yellowfin server, use the command home Yellowfin 7.35 app server bin startup.sh. So that's telling us we've got to start up Yellowfin essentially, and this is the file that's going to start it up for us because we're serving content um, to a, a website, right? And that's why we need to be able to start up Yellowfin because we're starting up the web server. Then it says, after starting the Yellowfin server, open this link in your browser to log in. So here's the, the website address as of right now. Here's the username, and here's the password that we're going to use. So I recommend definitely writing this down, copying it down, 
Um, I've had a lot of people say, hey, I forgot what the, what the user ID and password is. Can you please provide that to me? So just note this here and note the website that you have to browse to to log into Yellowfin. And at this point, we are good to go. So let's just start up the Yellowfin service so you can see how that's done. Um, a lot of times what happens is people will install Yellowfin and not know they have to start it up, browse to that website and say, hey, Yellowfin's not loading. Well, we do need to start it here. So what we're going to do is let's just browse to that file path where it said we needed to start Yellowfin at, which is CD735. App server bin. There we go. And let's run that startup command startup.sh. This is the file that's going to start Yellowfin up for you. So you're going to want to run this um, to start up the service. So, for example, if this was your local laptop and you run this service um, and then you shut your computer down at the end of the day and you come back in the next day, you would need to start Yellowfin again when you come in. Um, simply because it's running on your local computer and you shut down your local computer um, at night. Now, if this was running on a server, I started this up, I just leave Yellowfin running, and I can come in uh, during the day on my computer, I can work in Yellowfin, and then um, I can log out, turn my computer off, go home, come back the next day, and just log back into Yellowfin. I don't need to restart it every time because it's running on my server, and I don't shut it down on my server. So you can see here that Tomcat has been started. You just have to give it a little bit. It, I know it said it instantly here, but it is unpacking quite a bit the first time it starts up. So if uh, even though it says Tomcat started, um, you are going to want to give it just a minute or two if it's not browsing to that um, location right away. Um, also remember, if you are installing it on a server, you need to open up the port that you chose for outside traffic um, if you're not using Yellowfin on that server. Otherwise, you can't get to it. So that about does it for the Yellowfin install video. At this point, you could log on to that local host, colon 7075, type in the admin at yellowfin.com.au, and then password test. And you'd be into Yellowfin and off and running at, to the races. So if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to our support team or your salesman, depending on whether you're a customer or not.